Subscribe GA. Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If Sunny is imprisoned, Carly believes someone will perish. According to the General Hospital recap from Monday, June 5, Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, slept with Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, after he professed his love for her, and they later hugged. Jocelyn recognized that love hadn't worked out for her in the past with Cameron Weber, William Lipton, and Oscar Nero Quartermain, Darren Stitt. But Dex reassured her that she shouldn't feel forced to say she loved him back. Jocelyn told Dex that she also loved him because she didn't want anything, not even her own fears, to stand in the way of her future with him. At the bank, Trana Robinson, Tabiana Ali, noticed Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Chows, acting strangely and concealing something when he tried to carry the evidence against Ezin Prince, Avery Pohl, to the PCPD on his own. Spencer came forward about his idea that Victor Cassidine, Charles Shaughnessy, faked this proof when Trina threatened to fire him for hiding additional secrets. Trina determined they had to destroy the contents of the safe deposit box when Spencer revealed that Victor had previously made hints about doing just that. Ace Cassidine, Jay, and Joey Clay would not be in Spencer's care if the evidence was false and he was sent back to jail as a result. Spencer declared that Trina was correct and promised to destroy everything, but he kept it just in case as he closed the safe deposit box with the evidence still inside. At GH, Ava Jerome, Mora West, protested that she knew nothing about Sonny Corinthos' business and couldn't learn anything from Mason Gaplin, Nathaniel Gray, who claimed that her relationship to him was valuable. Mason objected and urged Ava to find out all she could about the Pikeman Company. Later, Ava would have to finish a mission of some kind, and it was Austin Gatlin Holtz, Roger Howarth, responsibility to keep her focused on her objective. Ava pressed for information about the mysterious employer after Mason had departed, but Austin finally intervened to stop her. Austin made it plain that working with Mason would be preferable and he'd appeared genuinely concerned about the boss retaliating if Ava resisted. In the meantime, Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, was taken aback by Zeke Robinson's, Gavin Houston, appearance when she discovered her brother had a client in New York. After providing updates on Trina to Zeke, Portia felt responsible for how close her daughter had grown to Spencer and hoped that Zeke could help his niece come to her senses. Zeke made a commitment to assist in any way he could and scheduled a lunch date with Portia for the next day. Brooke Lynn Quartermain, Amanda Sen, and Harrison Chase, Josh Swickard, were having a passionate moment by the Metro Court Pool when Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, interrupted them and pretended that BLQ should be busy spying on deception. Chase discovered Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, pouting at the nearby bar as Brooklyn continued to be skeptical of Tracy's genuine intentions and interrogated her. Later, Jordan allowed Zeke to sit next to her, but she gave him a heads up that she wouldn't make for great conversation. Zeke grinned as he made the decision to take a chance and was visibly drawn to Jordan. Willow Corinto's Catlin McMullen, who knew about the damaging video, had persuaded Michael Corinto's Chad Duell, to delete it, Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, discovered in the kitchen. Carly agreed that Willow had the right approach and said that Jocelyn would be distraught if Dex were to go to jail as a result of all of this. Michael told Carly that Dex would avoid this fine but did not elucidate, leading Carly to believe he was complicit in the scheme. Michael later claimed that Jocelyn now knew everything and wanted Carly to use the video to bring down Sonny after admitting that Dex was his plant in Sonny's organization. Michael recommended that Carly sacrifice Sonny for her family as she refused to do it to save herself. That caused Michael to be reminded of what transpired when Sonny vanished a few years ago, which left Carly and Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, scrambling to manage the takeover. Carly argued that if Sonny was sent behind bars, there would be a battle for his dominion 
and everyone would want to show that Sonny was no longer in charge. Carly warned that if Sonny went locked up, someone would die since that would put all of Sonny's family members in danger. Michael kept the encrypted flash drive behind in case Carly changed her mind since he still believed that this was the best Even option to for the mounting risk, warns General Hospital, as that flash drive can reveal awful news. Will Carly give in to her demands from anger? Anger-filled arguments, hopeless predicaments, a tiny bit of happiness, and so much more can be seen on General Hospital. This new episode is so amazing that you won't want to miss a single second. Featured hospitals in General Carly, Laura Wright, is still unable to comprehend the level of hatred her grown children have for Sonny, Maurice Bernard, who they are pleading with her to throw in jail in order to save them having to leave. Even more stunning is the fact that Michael, Chad Duell, has spent the past year trying to unsee his father by putting Dex, Evan Hofer, into Sonny's company. Carly will soon be the target of Jocelyn's, Eden McCoy, rage. Jocelyn is furious that her mother is reluctant to bring Sonny to justice. Jocelyn believes that if Sonny is in jail, Dex will be released. When Jocelyn accuses her mother of lacking the confidence to finish what Michael started, will Carly respond by explaining that the mob doesn't operate that way? According to GH rumors, Carly decides something. After being so shocked by the behavior of her adult children, does she decide to turn against Sonny or finally reach a genuine peace? Sonny is still hesitant to deal with the Pikeman group in the meantime, but he is not aware that there is a video of their initial shipment. In order to discuss the situation, he meets with Valentin, James Patrick Stewart, once more. He needs to reassure him that everything will be well because Valentin got him into this situation. Of course, there is a warning attached to that assurance. Drew wants a deal, and Nanette is in trouble on G8. Although Drew, Cameron Matheson, does not intend to put anyone in jail in order to avoid going to jail, he still believes that blackmailing Ned will help him solve his problems. As a fallback, he hires a competent attorney who turns out to be Zeke, Gavin Houston, the brother of Portia, Brooke Kerr. We now understand his motivation for visiting, apart from introducing Jordan to a new love interest, but can he save Drew? Learn what occurred on General Hospital today. The person who did tip off that SEC is anxious, fearing she may be discovered reporting a crime, while Drew and Carly attempt to navigate their own dilemma. When Martin, Michael E. Knight, informs her that the SEC wants him to reveal the identity of the informant he represents, it doesn't help. Nina continues to tremble in her high heels despite Martin's assurances that he won't do that. A successful day for Elizabeth? Elizabeth, Rebecca Herbst, hasn't been seen since she attempted to check on an AWL Anna, Finola Hughes, in her hospital room. But on Wednesday, she reappears and receives some good news. Either she learns Cameron, William Lipton, will soon be returning home for the summer, as Epiphany, Sonia Eddy, hoped, or she has been authorized as the new head nurse. A position she had long desired would be excellent news for her, because she had recently believed she was on the verge of losing her job. Carly's choice, Nina's panic, pressure on Martin, good news for Elizabeth. General Hospital makes clear good news is delivered to Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, Valentin Cassadine, James Patrick Stewart, teams up with Sonny Corintos, Morris Bernard, the lawyer for Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, meets with him. Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, devises a strategy for progress. Zeke Robinson, Gavin Houston, and Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, take pleasure in the afterglow. Michael E. Knight's portrayal of Martin Marty Gray allays Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watrose, worries. His name is cleared up by Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth, and Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Losicero, Caitlin McMullen's character Willow Corinthos in general Elizabeth truth. Baldwin receives positive news. We're just relieved to see Elizabeth back on the television after hearing positive news about her. Will William Lipton's Cameron, Cam, Weber phone her to let her know he's returning home for the summer? Say Valentin Cassadine and Sonny Corinthos meet again. 
Sonny needs to see Valentin, which may indicate that he is interested in learning more about the Pikeman group. It might also imply that Valentin needs his assistance in entering Chechnya with Laura Collins, Jenny Francis. G.H. Drew Kane meets with his attorney. Drew might believe that his decision to put his trust in Carly was a mistake. Although it's too soon to say, we'll undoubtedly find out more shortly. He won't spend any time calling his lawyer and asking to schedule a meeting as soon as feasible. Hospital general advice, the choice Carly Spencer makes Carly's mother is undoubtedly not going to take well to Jocelyn Joss Jacks, Eden McCoy, requests that she muster the fortitude to complete the mission Michael began. Will Carly, however, heed her counsel? Jordan Ashford and Zeke Robinson remember the night. Zeke and Jordan will relish soaking up the memories of their romantic evening. Unexpected. Sure, necessary. Yes, for Jordan. Dangerous? Absolutely. Teaser for General Hospital Reeves panics Nina. When Marty informs Nina that the feds are heavily pressuring him to reveal the source of the information against Drew and Carly, Nina's about to lose it. I assume he won't give in. G.H. Talking Business, Ned and Olivia Quartermain. Now that Ned and Olivia are back on the same page, they need to figure out who actually turned Carly and Drew into the SEC so that everyone can stop harassing Liv's husband. The truth is what General Hospital's Willow Tate wants. When Willow believes someone is omitting crucial information from the portion of the story they are giving her, she will be honest with them about it. Is it Michael who refuses to explain to her what he has done by giving Carly the evidence? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.